Let's see, how's it going? Don't mind me, I fucking hate texting. I think we're all better without it, so I usually use one of these when I can. Uh, also, I don't know if you've ever seen that Key and Peel skit, but that's how I feel about texting. I could go on. Anyway, um, I just want you to know right off the bat, I fully accept how fucking weird this is. I'm sorry, but like I said, I think if you give me a second, you'll probably end up laughing. And uh, not that you need my permission, but feel free to just laugh directly at me for being a fucking idiot, for I am surely about to embarrass myself right now. I would also make the argument that embarrassing myself on a microphone is a large part of my job and I'm quite good at it. So, uh, here goes nothing. <laughs> and sorry for the delay. I was going to get back to you, but I just, someone called about a gig tomorrow. I'm trying to help a fine musician. Also, I'm not sure if I'm fucking funny anymore. I just spent 60 minutes, like I said, uh, playing guitar and singing to a room full of senior citizens, but the room was stuffy and hot. I had to do it with a surgical mask on, and I'm not sure if I have any funny or social energy left, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and fake it right now. So thank you for your understanding and patience, and uh, here goes nothing. I'm a fucking idiot. Enjoy. So, I was minding my own business last week on Ye Old Bumble, everyone's favorite online dating app. Punch me in the fucking face. Don't get me started on online dating. And um, I came across your bio, and I let out a very emasculine noise. I mean, it was not... Is that a word? I don't know. It's kind of dating everybody. But it was not. I Honestly, I was like, this chick's made up. My first thought was that my mom paid you to write that bio just to make my day better, and I was curious just to like ask you how much. But the more I read, I was like, holy fuck, this person's fine kind of weird. And I just figured I'd say howdy, and if I talked to myself and an asshole for a couple of minutes, you'd probably feel the same as me. Now, I'm not going to pretend to know the depths of your soul from a couple of cursory sentences and some photos, but uh, I am a very good judge of character. I'm a keen study of like personality and psychology, and uh, you know, I'm good. For the love of fuck, I was like two minutes into one, and it was awesome and funny, and I was so proud of it, and then someone called me again about a gig this evening, and it's like, you know that thing where your friends know you're busy or you're on a date or something, and then that's when they decide to call? Jesus Christ. We'll, uh, we'll take this as a good sign. Um, so I don't know if I'm repeating myself, but yeah, no, your bio was just the fucking bee's knees. I mean, listen, top three in like the hundreds or thousands I've seen. It was just, I don't know, I'm a very good judge of character and you just seem like my kind of person. And I'm not saying we're star-crossed lovers. I don't know you and you don't know me. But um, generally the bios hurt my brain and make me think that maybe I should just try the other sex or not talk to people anymore. And yeah, it was it was ridiculous. I, I honestly wouldn't even swipe on someone that lived in Brantford, but I meant what I said. Like, I think the world would be a better place if you and I were friends and nothing else. So I fully accept how strange and unconventional this is. I just, I got a vibe and I figured I gotta go with I was like in a really good mood that day. I don't know. <laughs> I'm totally winging it. But um, yeah, a lot of my close friends are women and everyone unfortunately has a couple stories of having to block someone's number or an ex just won't leave them alone or go to the cops. Fuck dude, I've had to block a few numbers of crazy people that didn't know they were crazy. So I really, really apologize sincerely if this in any way like triggered that or it was weird or whatever. Uh, Kelsey, that's the furthest thing from my intention. I just wanted to say howdy, and I figured if I talked like an idiot, you'd probably feel like I did after I looked your bio. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes now. What I want to know if I was Kelsey. Oh, okay, it's not fair. You've seen mine, or sorry, I've seen yours and you have not seen mine. If you want, I will screenshot my Bumble bio. I'm quite proud of it. I think it's pretty fucking good. It represents me well. And, um, what else would I want to know if I was you? Gee, I'm like six feet tall, uh, pretty damn handsome. I'd give me like a seven. No, like a seven and a half out of ten looks wise. I mean, to my knowledge, no one's dated me for my abs or my hair. I'm guessing it's because I'm funny and honest and clearly very humble and go to therapy and emotionally intelligent. And um, yeah, for the 80th time, I apologize if this was weird uh, or like gave you any bad vibes. That's not my intention. Um, I gotta drive home now because I gotta go sing at a bar in Mississauga and I have four more gigs this weekend and it hurts to talk. So <laughs> I'm sitting here in my car like a jackass. And uh, yeah, I hope that all made some kind of sense. And if nothing else, please take the sincere compliment. I've seen hundreds of shitty bios, probably thousands, and yours was easily top three. The only reason I'm not giving you number one is because then it would seem like I'm lying. But I'm a very genuine, honest person. And uh, yeah. Actually, on my way home, I'm going to go to the park and feed the ducks. My favorite swan couple, Mr. Plump and Mr. Plump and Mrs. Plumfett, they just had babies a couple weeks ago. So, like, I'll run up and they recognize me and the babies are squeaking. The hierarchy of, like, waterfowl cute babies, it goes swan babies, then ducklings, and then goslings. But, um, yes, I may or may not do that four to seven times a week. I'm a huge animal lover. Dogs are better than cats. Cats suck. Sorry if you have cats, but I'm sure your cat is cool. 
And uh, yeah, take the compliment. Anyway, uh, apologies if this totally like, intruded on your day, opposite of my intention. And uh, yeah, your bio is fucking awesome. I mean, there's a couple other assets I noticed too, but I cannot mention them without sounding like a fuckboy. So I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm sure you've worked very hard to be in the shape you're in, but goddamn, like, goddamn, I would not kick you out of bed for eating crackers. So I figured if you are half as funny as you seem to be and half as cool as I got from that bio, I would say hi. Um, yeah, all right. Hope this made you laugh and smile, and uh, you have a fantastical day, Kelsey. Cheers. Not today, sucker. Now back to hell where you belong.